A warm good morning to all my dear students. Welcome to the EVS class. Today, that is 7th of May 2021, we are going to start a new lesson that is Chapter 13, Our Identity Card. So the topics that we will be discussing in today's class are Introduction, Different Identity Proofs, Uses of Identity Proofs. And as the class will be over, the learning outcome for today is at the end of today's explanation, students will be able to tell the necessity of ID cards to identify the various identity proofs and to explain how identity proofs maintain our identity in the times of crisis. So children, let us start the class. So first, let us know what exactly are the I cards. First, let me ask you something. Do you have any identity card? Yes, of course you do. The card, the identity card that is provided from your school and also the Aadhaar card for the children. And my next question to you is, do your parents have identity cards? Yes, they do have and, and not just one. They do have multiple identity cards. So let us know first the definition of the identity cards. An identity card contains the personal detail of a person. Now my dear children, if you look at this, so this is generally an ID card which is provided to the students from the school, which mostly contains the name, the address, the phone number and of course the pictures, the photographs. And my dear children, these identity cards are given to the students or to the people from a concerned authority. Isn't it? You can see even I am wearing my iCard. Yes, so even I have got my iCard which is given to me from our school. Similarly, you all have got your iCards, isn't it? Now, my dear children, if you look at page number 86 of your EVS textbook, you can see there is a fill up. You can fill up your details there. Okay. A format has been given. How? An identity card. What are the details that are required for an identity card? Yes. So there you can write your name, father's name, date of birth, school's name, your class, section and of course your address. Okay, so I would like to suggest every one of you to do this activity, okay, of page number 86. Now, children, the identity cards are the proofs, okay, these are provided by authorities. So, in our case, our school also provides us with the identity cards, isn't it? Similarly, the government of India provides the identity cards, the various identity cards, okay? And then some government body can also use, are used to provide this identity cards. And this identity cards act as our identity proofs, okay? So the various ID cards which are provided by the government are voter ID card, Aadhaar card, driving license, passport, ration card, etc. So today we are going to learn more about the voter ID card, the Aadhaar card, the driving license and the passport. Starting with the, these are, these are your, you can see here my dear children. Yes, this one is the Aadhaar card. This is the driving license. This is the passport and this is the voter ID card. So, let us know more about this. So, dear children, this is what the Aadhaar card looks like. Now, the Aadhaar card contains 12 numbered code that is unique to every citizen of India. Here in the picture, you all can see, dear children, this 12 numbered code. Yes, each and every citizen, they have got a unique 12 number code. This number serves as a proof of identity and address anywhere in India. It is the latest and the most important identity proof for a person living in India. 
and my dear children aadhar cards are also for children are issued for the children as well now the who are exactly from which age group the children are eligible now aadhar cards can be generated for all children below 5 years including the newborns no biometrics of the child is taken in this case just for the adults we need to give our biometrics isn't it for the children their biometrics is not required okay only the child's photograph is taken for aadhar so dear children i know along with your school identity card some of you must have maybe more than 90% of you must have got your aadhar cards okay then my dear children let us move on to the passport now the passport is an identity proof issued by the government which confirms that you are a citizen of india and this passport is mostly used when you travel to other countries yes so it is an identity proof mostly required when you travel to a different country yes and this is a proof that you are a indian citizen all right now dear children let us know about the various uses of our identity proofs all right so this will yes our voter id card is very important when we cast our vote in the elections okay in the general elections held every 5 years we need our voter id cards to cast our vote okay and this voter id cards are given to the citizens who of age group of 18 years or above not below 18 years okay so once you all are 18 years you all will be definitely getting this voter id card issued from the by the government of india okay now the entrusted body who issues this voter id card is the election commission of india under the indian government all right now next yes the passport as already discussed the passport uh, for getting a passport you can travel to the other countries so this is basically a proof that you are a citizen of india so without a passport it is not possible to travel to other countries all right the next is even to open an account in a bank you do need your id proofs yes for opening account on a bank there also we need our identity proofs here you can say these are the several criteria yes required by the bank of which your identity proof is a must okay now to open an account in a bank any kind of identity proof will work okay there this might be an uh, this might be the driver's license or the passport okay so next my dear children of course to get a job in government to get a job in the government of india under the government of india there also we need to have the identity proofs okay we need to provide our identity proofs in order to get jobs in government sector okay and of course yes the old people for getting their monthly pension okay even that time also they need their identity cards okay so see identity cards are so much necessary for us and it helps us in the time of crisis isn't it for any kind of uh, activities like whether giving our votes whether getting the pension or for opening an account on a bank id cards are a must okay so dear children now yes this is very very important always carry your identity cards okay always we need to carry our identity cards we may be asked for it at any time to prove the police or the military who are and where you live who you are and where you live so any time we might need it isn't it so it is always better to carry your identity cards okay as our identity card is a proof that we are an indian citizen we are from india and it also mentions our name address and it is certified it is been issued by the government of india okay the valid identity proofs are very very important now 
so today's class we have learned so many new words okay so out of these new words i have identified four of the most important words that is personal personal means what the our our personal details okay details concerning us maybe the our name date of birth the place we live our phone number our father name mother names okay so these are under the personal details authority means what once one who is in charge of okay authority means one who is in charge of unique means what a uh, unique means what everyone has a different okay unique a different okay a different kind of where we have word this word unique while we discussed about the aadhar card okay a 12 numbered unique code a 12 numbered different code every citizen have, are having their own codes okay which is different from the other now the government of course the government here we are talking about our indian government okay so these are the important words that we have discussed in today's class now my dear children please note down this question on your classwork copy okay so the question is why do citizens of all the countries use passport and yes the answer is passport is an identity proof that confirms us as the citizen of a particular country and allows us to travel to other countries yes and that's why passport is asked by all the uh, all the countries so it is used by the citizens of all the countries okay now my dear children so with this i would like to end today's class hope you all have understood the lesson please take care of yourself take all the necessary precautions okay as in when it's required sanitize your hands wash your hands properly stay safe stay healthy thank you so much